Hello there, and welcome to the Creative Crafts Showcase Part 2. This is the series where we totally rip off those guys, and we showcase some of the recent community crafts that you've submitted. If you want your crafts to be in a similar video to this, you can join my Discord server or you can message me on Discord or Instagram. Anyway, with all that said, let's get into the video. First on the list is the iconic BF-109 by Excalibur Aerospace. It looks just like the real plane and comes with engine flame plumes. It also has a set of custom landing gear which fold up really neatly. Although the plane doesn't have the best turning circle, it does look really nice in pictures. Especially if you have it with multiple planes flying in formation. The plane is only 279 parts so you should be able to run it on any device. You can find this craft through the link in the description. Next we have the Omega by GamerX. This is a replica of the real life rocket Omega. The rocket didn't make it because it eventually got cancelled, but now you can relive its legacy in Simp Rockets 2 with this replica. This replica is very detailed. Not only does it have the rocket, but it also has the launch pad. On the upper stage, it also has some custom vacuum engine plumes. It comes with some cool logos, including the nice Omega logo. The rocket and the launch pad together is 1661 parts. So it should run alright on most devices, it can run okay on my phone on high settings, but remember it may not run on all of them. As requested, there will not be a link to this craft, but there you have it, on to the next one. This is the F10 Luxury Sedan by Freesky Aerospace. This car has so many cool details that I don't even know where to start. This car looks really nice. Not only is it very functional, but it's also stylish. It comes with opening doors, opening hood and opening trunk, a rear seat control panel, interior lights and exterior lights, and for god's sake it even has reclining seats. There's also a working and retracting sunroof, it has functional brake lights and reverse lights as well as turning lights, and not to mention it's not all looks it can also drive like it should. I don't know what the top speed is but it is over 100 meters per second but it spins out after that. And believe it or not, it's actually extremely good at drifting. The car looks really good in pictures because you can always have many combinations of the doors and the hood open, etc. It also has driving sounds, I'm assuming using the rotor sound. It can hold up to three druids because one of the seats doesn't work. It also has the controls for all the seats and the lights in the front of the car. Altogether, the sedan is 606 parts, so you should be able to run it on most devices. Once again, of course, you can find a link to this craft in the description. Next up, we have the Delta IV Medium Plus 5.4 by Chaotic Graviton. This is obviously a replica of one of the Delta IV variants, and as you can see, it looks incredible. It has all the detail you could ever want, and it also has many cool little features that the actual rocket has. For example, the solid rocket motor is gimbal and very smoothly as well. If you move your camera inside the rocket, you will see that there is actually round tanks in there instead of just the normal flat ones. There is really smooth piping down the exterior of the tanks as well. The upper stage comes with a fully custom engine which also has an extendable nozzle. One cool unique feature it has is that it can auto launch to Drew Orbit, Brigo Orbit and Luna Orbit. You can also customize some simple aspects about the orbit in the program, including the height of the apoapsis and the periapsis of the orbit, including both the inclination and the heading you would like to come from. That also means that the rocket has very heavy lift capabilities, and also the craft is 1711 parts big. I can still run it fine on my phone, but you might not be able to run it on yours. And so there you have it, the Delta IV Medium. Now this is the only craft that's actually been able to crash my phone out of all these other crafts. This craft is massive and it's called the Palentia by Nebula Space Agency. As you can see, it's a colony type ship and it's meant for the Tidos system. It's 337 meters long and 120 meters wide. It has over 900 kilometers a second of delta V. This thing looks like a sci-fi ship from a movie or something. This craft is 2,488 parts, so many older devices won't be able to run it. Now you might be wondering where a good portion of those parts are, and you can find all those parts inside the cargo bay. Inside the cargo bay is a bunch of cool landers. These include four small habitats, two miners, and two mobile bases. These are intended to land on the moons of Tidos to start colonies, and they're all pretty unique and cool. They really sell the scale of this massive craft. 
Palentia also has lights, but I can't show that because it crashes my game, so Game Night will have to show you those. It's also good to point out that its main propulsion system is a nuclear engine. Link will be in the description. Anyway, that's it for this awesome craft, on to the next one. And finally, we have the Atlas V 551 configuration, made for RSS by Game Night. This is a really nice replica of the real life rocket, but it's made for Hypatch's realistic solar system. It has incredible detail while having a very low part count, the part count being only 889, so it should be fully functional on any device. It also comes with a very good looking launch pad, and it can lift a lot to orbit. I really like the colours on this rocket and it fits into RSS very well. And of course, as always, the link to this one will be in the description. If you haven't already, make sure you upvote these crafts and try them out. Thanks to all the people who submitted their awesome crafts. With all that said, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.